I'm a baby zebra. I'll help you grow big and strong. Queen's Call into Zebstrika. Now have a dead hand, so there's no penalty with this. And I don't think I played a transporter yet, so if I pull that, that's gonna save me. So I'm a baby mud bro. I shall grant you power if you offer me. Kids, take my kids! Take this mud bro as well! Uh oh. Let's see the bench. My kids are all grown up. I can use my full power. Go. Power Lariat. Full power! Full power! 600, 260 damage. Let's see the bench. Oh shit, not at my wife's there. I can't screw this up. Would you like a screwdriver to screw it down? That was humor. I don't care anymore. King's Drum, go! First time to see a Dino King go. This is a great team. Let's get out there and kick some. Ow, perfect me. Hello? Hello? Be quiet, my brain. Well, hello, Nagos. And the Frenchels, it's Dom. Welcome back to my kitchen. And on this menu, I'll be serving you a Nido Queen deck. So, let's jump into the combo. The big combo is that you need to have your bench filled with evolved Pokemon. Luckily, that's gonna be very easy. How do you do that? Nidal Queen's ability, Queen's Call. You can search for a Pokemon that's not a GX or EX, if you're an expanded, and put it into your hand. And this allows you to grab not only evolved Pokemons, as I poorly done in the intro, you can get basics as well and start setting them up. Now, stage twos are difficult and slow. This is why there's gonna be a Meganium here that allows you to cheat from a basic Skipping the stage one, mainly for such, to stage two, and this will help you cut down on rare candies. All right, we're also gonna be using Malamars. This is your main energy bonus. How do you attack? Malamar gives you one psychic energy from your discard, so that Nidal Queen's attack is just only done through one double colorless. All right, and that's also the same with Nidal King, which we'll get to. All right, actually. Let's just get to him now. What does this Nidal King do? It's a 80% Nidal Queen. If Nidal Queen's there, it does 200 damage, which is a lot. She can do quite a bit more, though. If your bench is completely filled with evolved Pokemon, she goes to 260. Yeah, and if at least four, that's 210. So she is still better than the Nidal Queen in most situations. We just, I mean, if you don't use them now, you don't have a chance to pull them off. Okay, what else here? Is that Banana Master? He's not an evolved Pokemon. We have to use Zebstruga. You can discard your hand and draw four more cards. If your hand is okay to discard. What else? We will be using some Jirachis. Hopefully they'll leave the bench, get knocked out, as you're setting up at the start of the game. And then you can just have that full bench there. But you need some to help you get those rare candies. All right, that is that. Get your bench filled with evolved Pokemons. Use abilities to help you do that, and use Malamar and DCs to help you attack, and you pay for the energy costs. That is that! Alright, so, let's see how it actually performs in real matches. Here we go. Heads, uh, uh, heads or tails? Dude, let's go with heads, man. You got it! Go on second. Dude! Dude, I'm looking for my first win here, man! Let's go! Let's go! Okay. I think your opponent's using a buzz wall. That's bad. But that, actually, we have psychic damage, so that's good. Sylveon, that would be bad if that was Sylveon. <laughs> so, hey, not that bad of a hand. That bad head out of the starting hand. I'm gonna play my cover. This is ambiguous. From Kill La Kill. All right. Let's go, Nidoran. Okay, up, that's that. You want to go first? It is... Hey, weakness damage and a GX. That's good. Mal... Alright, we know what you are. This is a... Mm, ultra... Ne it's a Necrozma deck. Malamar Necrozma versus Malamar Nidoran. So, we don't have to be afraid of the GX. That's good. We do not be afraid. Our hand is pretty good. He might get a... Tr I don't think he gets a tr turn one kill on me. So I may just go for Call for Family, be able to dump my energies, and play Lily. Yeah, because I gotta dump my hand in order to get some good stuff here. 
two Malamars starting up first, followed by a Coconut Master into a Lily. You probably should Lily. That is a pretty sick setup. Yeah, into that Lily. All right. So, can we do it again, guys? Can we keep do that setup? All right, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna play, we have to maximize Billy's lap value. So, I probably would have to end up playing the escape port here. Here we go, energy. Ex well, even, even I do have to do this trigger. Erica will get me four cards, so will Lily. Same deal, let's do it with Lily, because Erica can get it to me later. Okay, so that's looking like I'm going to need to put this down now. And if he kills me, that is bad. We're going to do a call for family for a Chirachi. Why a Chirachi? This is very bad for me starting off, actually. But we're going to get Chirachi because I don't have that strong setup of a basic here. However, I think I can stay alive for another turn. I might be able to attack, too. I might be able to... Well, good thing like zero damage. So he will have to get the first kill on me. Once again, you're doing, you go in second, you get... The your one card, it's like that one coin flip decides the whole game for you. It decides the whole entire game, and that's how it is. Okay, next turn we can probably, I don't know if we can dump our hand well enough to do Erica's Hospitality. But the problem with not new arena and is it does no damage. So I will have to retreat this. It's like, okay, protect that in the back. Uh-oh, he can kill Nidoran, so I'm gonna be very behind. You get that coin flip, you get the first attack on your first turn, the more meaningful, and that is how it is. Marshall is like, I'm gonna ruin your hand. Boom! But he's gonna have no energies. I don't know if that's gonna be, uh, can we still make a comeback? Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad I got that Chirachi. And uh, hopefully we can get something back here. Okay. What's a uh, most accurate site to find out cards? What your cards were? Try Outcast. Like it's a weird spelling with numbers in it, but Outcast guide for gate deal. Hey, look at that double Malamar setup, prismatic verse. All right, so we definitely could take this deck, but look at the setup. You got no basics, man. If you don't pull another basic or a draw supporter, we're in trouble. So two free kills. Jeez, uh, maybe even three now. What do we have? I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for Erica's hospitality here. Let's throw this down, and now I can Erica's. I'm gonna need to desperately get that rescue stretcher to end right here because if we don't have Nita Rand, we can't fight. We also need another basic. And we also need another draw support too. Okay, this is gonna be painful, guys, but I do need to get rid of the super boost. Because without the super boost, I'm in trouble. Banana Master, I so wish you were here. Um. Basically, Malamar. Why is my, where's all my inkies and Malamars? There they are. This is much easier setup here. This is much easier setup. Let's go ahead and put this onto here, and I have to give him a free kill. I have to give him a free kill. Trying to punish him, get to work on those, make it easier for me to KO you. Okay, so let's. Hope that he doesn't uh, know he misses a beat now. He was very aggressive so far, and no, uh, nothing else here. A Lele? Don't tell me you got another Lele to another Goose, my man. It's Dawnwing, okay. So Longwing can grab the energies and take, in, take a kill here, which sucks. Would Meganium be better? You're right, but I don't have an Enki to get up right now. It's like, okay, well, Jirachi, I'll take, this is easy. So I'm gonna have to send this out to take a KO. And he's stuck. He missed a beat. This is now our chance to catch up, guys. It is catch up time. Catch up and mustard time. Let's go ahead and get that out there. All right. Now let's see, let's give you the counter gain here. 
before I use this here, I want to see what else I get. A rescue stretcher. That's good to have remaining. Uh, let's go get that nest ball, though, before the rescue stretcher. I mean, if, uh, we get, that means we can get you back. That's good. All right. Let, uh, Beganium is now getting... will be available soon. Let's go ahead and toss this out. Malamar. Malamar is now up, too. I wanted more damage to scale with this here. So that's why that is up. Queen's Call into Zebstrika. Now have a dead hand, so there's no penalty with this. And I don't think I played a draw supporter yet, so if I pull that, that's gonna save me. So look at this chain, mighty chain combo here. Let's go, draw supporter. Well, oh, yep, it is a draw supporter. It's not a bad time to play that. Do a reshuffle though. Or I could just put that straight on the bench. Yep, sometimes you gotta do this. Here, uh, oh, I don't want... Oh, I, I, oh, I should have recycled, man. You don't want that in your hand. Oh, you can't, it's okay, but this is better. Here we go. Let's pull some more cards out. A rare candy and Ultra Ball. Good. So right now, I do not need Professor's Elms. Yeah, let's give them that I have a Nita ran up. Well, actually, I want, I want, I want Meganium next. All right, that is gonna be that. We're gonna add another energy up anywhere. Not really. Not really. But if he does do a counter gain, it's like it's it's okay. I want to do this anyways. Here we go. That's that. And I can't do anything else, guys. Actually, putting this down right here to evolve is a pretty good idea. See, it's it has a lot of potential, but it can get stuck like this. All right. So after this, there's no more basic Pokemon's down. You get another free kill. Great, great. So maybe this is gonna be enough for me to take a to make a comeback at this point. I know, I know that that's wrong, but there was nobody else who could accept the energy that was useful. All right, so he's gonna, you know, I'm gonna attack this right away. He actually have enough energies. Maybe he has enough energies. Oh man, he's got a lot of energies. But if he weakness damage, dark flash. Why, man? This is dumb. He killed it before he killed it. He just killed it off the bat. Great. Rare candy this. Now this Dino Queen's dead because I messed up on that. Unless I get something else. Counter gain is definitely useful. So actually I'll get Nest Ball. The reason Nest Ball is good is because Meganium here. Meganium can get that Dino Queen to evolve. All right, Nita ran. Let's go. And now we do not waste any value with this here. So if I pull a DCE and I'm able to retreat this, I can get. I'm okay. Wait a minute. I don't have a Nidal Queen up. Man, I hate this. This sucks. Definitely can't attack then because there's no Nidal Queen. All right, let's do this here. Three free kills, man. Can you give me a chance? Give me a chance! Alright! That's enough Goosebuzz, right? No more hunting off all my good cards off the bench! Alright! Can't wait for Shrine to take the KOs. I so hope so, man. So 100 damage should maybe okay, but we definitely need to pull out a Nidal King Queen card. Let's see, I used it the Rescue Stretcher, which is bad. It's like, okay, there's not another... I mean, three... Three free kills, jeez! Let me, let me have some, let me have s something, anything at this point. And if I, if I Zebstrika, that's bad because I can't fight with these Dino Queens. There's only one rescue stretcher left. Two rescue, oh, actually they're all gone. They're all gone, guys. They are all gone. So he will take another, well, I think the Shrine may be able to take this later. Unless we do have the drag off attack. I think I'm able to drag that off and kill it. Which would be awesome. Alright, what we got? Wow! We got a Nidoran. We're gonna go ahead and do this to our Nidal Queen. Get her up. Perfect. And I may be able to get a Malamar here. 
Now King's Drum will kill this. But let's see, we, we have weakness damage. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. I could do the drag off because it's funny. Yeah. And then, you know, but this is probably killing it with the most minimal energies. This is killing it with the minimal energies. So is this. Alright. You know, Knight of Queen's gonna get energies anyways. So I'm gonna, not gonna put energy up here. I'm not gonna play the counter gain either. Okay, let's go ahead and do Queen's Call. Okay, this is the only Pokemon I have, so I've gotta, you know, save it for next turn. Is Malamar in the discard? No, it's actually in the prize card. You also could kill these too, but this is worth a lot of prize cards. Stop rushing me, Pokemon. Please stop rushing me. I really need to, you know, try to think about this. Let's do a drag off. Minimal kills. Weakness damage. A funny way to get a KO. And that will let me catch up some prize cards here. Let's get some Malamars. Oh, yeah. I wonder if Zep Zepstrika Swampert. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is a challenging deck overall, man. It's... This is a very challenging thing. Zepstrika is actually doing better than expected. Much, much better than expected now. So now we're looking at a lot of some extra... Please let Guzma still be here, because I just need to drag it off that and kill it. Alright, he's getting that right back up the bat. Okay, so he has weak we both have weakness damage against each other. But it's going to be a close match. I've been so far behind the entire game, though. So... I'm going to see if Guzma's in there, because I'm going to need a Guzma on my next turn real badly. We have counter gain is definitely gonna still stay in effect. So counter gain, yeah, you know you're gonna be behind this deck. So let's throw this down. All right, so all right, counter gain. Throw this down. Throw Malamar down. Look at this combo. It is sexy. This combo is sexy. Yeah, all right, now that's up. I have everything here. I have everything. Uh, you know what? Let's get the maximum draw that I can get. I right, there's Guzma, man. There's my man Guzma. You want an extra energy? Don't have to worry about counter gain any of that dumb stuff. Exactly. All right, and Queen's Call. Just to take a look at our deck. That's all we have in our deck. Thank you for the look. And uh, you know, if and if something goes wrong. Who gets to fight? Malamar gets to fight. I mean, he's gonna do 60 damage. That's something. Here we go. Power Lariat. Full power! Full power! 600... 260 damage! Two more prize guards. Can we win... Yes! That is a yes. We can't win this deck match soon. We can win this match. And we can, you know, secure being able to pull that unless he has an amazing, amazing combo here. That's still okay. I have 260 damage. Even 200 damage is good at my disposal with us here. You please let this be my first win. 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 Please let it be my first win. Let's go. All right. Please let it be my first win. Please let it be my first win. Come on, come on. <laughs> Gonna Guzma, but what would you Guzma that would help you? Like, there are two charged up Nidal Queens. There are two charged up Nidal Queens. It's looking pretty good, okay? So I'm gonna take a skid swig of my Pellegrino <laughs> sparking water. Thank you, man. Pull this off. Power Lariat, full power, weakness damage as well! 520 damage! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Good job, Nidal Queen and Nidal King! Y'all rock, kinda. Nidal King is like, at least I got to do something awesome! You did, you did, man, you did. Good job, both of you, my King and Queens. 
All right. Yes, I like to go first. Let's go. I'm going to play my cover. This is Ignite from uh, Sword Art Online. All right. This is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty darn good here. All right. I get to go. Oh, it's Lost March. All right. So let's go ahead and do this here. Is Meganium here? It is here. It's not in the prize. So I can pull out this. And probably the team of Nidorants now. Actually, is Malamar... Let me see Malamar. Malamar is in my hand, so I'm not going to pull out all Nidorants. I'm going to make sure that Malamar can evolve here. Yep. And we do not have an energy on our first turn, which... Which is pretty typical. I don't expect that anymore. <laughs> this is... Sometimes you have all energy, sometimes you have none. It's like always one of those there. Okay, so... Uh-oh. If he does get uh, three Trumbeaks, we will die. And I kind of want this Splitzel to stay alive, because it's getting me more cards. Alright, you know, but hey man, one retreat, pretty good. I would say the whole deck in general fits better, probably should keep Banana Master out in general. Maybe two Pidgeos or something. Okay, but that's kind of hard to win your bench. That's hard in red space. Okay! Erica, ah, uh, not so bad. That's, that's pretty much almost, almost a Lily. Almost, but not quite. We will get a, um, yeah, we'll get this up. We'll also get Blitzel up, too. So I'm definitely going to prioritize the Meganium. You get that early Meganium, it is fun. So, let's get the early Meganium out. Um, What can we cycle? I need my Cynthia's, man. Sorry, Nidoran. I have plenty of you. I can get you back. I can get you back, but I need my, my, my Meganium. Yeah! So, here we go. Meganium's up. This means Nidal Queen will be up, too, soon, if I pull her. If I pull her. So Zeb Stricken could be really risky with this. Normally you do not play Zeb Stricken with the stage two, but now I'm like, I'm desperate. I am desperate. There we go, got that rare candy. Got a Nido Queen, guys, but no energies. How about that? Well, you know what? Zeb Stricken could be like, hey, screw this, man. I will get you the energies. All right, so. And here's your retreat. Everything I cannot play will be destroyed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Everything I do not play is dead. So let's get the Nidal Queen out. Uh, this out. And I can thin again, but I don't have to. I'm gonna save it. Let's go ahead and destroy this. Where's Jirachi? No, oh, I can't get Jirachi with this. In that case, I wanna get nothing. I can get Jirachi with this, though. I'm gonna do it later. Oh, yeah, but I'll do it now. I'll do it now, Jirachi Witchmaker. I'm gonna send you out to get killed. Yeah, because I don't want my Zebstra gonna die. Right now, I'm not ready, so you're basic. Well, let's go ahead and retreat. Now I'm gonna sprint before I use Stellar Wish, because I find whatever card I pull, I'm not gonna be able to play that. Got me a draw support? You got me an energy card! Great! Great, 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 great. Okay, let's put this on uh, Dino Queen. Let's do Stellar Wish. It's gonna be a rare candy, Shrine of Punishment. And this, which what we don't need. We gotta discard that. So I'm just pretty, doing pretty nice, man. I don't need anything. I'll grab the candy just to thin, I guess. But I don't need anything. Should I, mean, should I grab any? Well, I could just grab this and throw this out. I mean, this is thinning. I'm just basically thinking something is thin. Let's do that right there. And that's... This is actually a good setup. Look at this. One, two, three, four, four... Well, three, technically three for this uh, year. So we're almost up and ready. This is pretty tanky, too. So I'm saying this, this is going my way a little bit here this time. Yep. This deck is moving all down like three. It is. It is. It is. Today it is going on a pretty. It's working. This is the game. All right. Steins Gate. This is Ignite. This is not Steins Gate. This is uh, Crossing Field. Pokemon communication would be great this. Maybe. Well, technically, you have Master Ball right here, and I, I think I think it might be a deep, we can actually work a little bit without that. All right, Lost Blender. Let's see. He's throwing the Guzmas off. That's good. So one, two, three, four. A hundred damage right now. So only three more. Only three more to go. And look at this here. This deck is suffering. Like, I believe this, he copied this. Most players not playing uh, Professor Elm. You need Professor Elms and the Nest Balls here. So, uh, with a minute. His, we we gotta hunt down every uh, jump up we can. 
So, here we go. Attack. Let's go. Free kill. What is going to happen here, guys? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to destroy this energy somehow by using this effect, but maybe later. Oh, man. I don't want to waste the DCE. Those are valuable. Let's go ahead and just Cynthia, man. I can already attack. When the LNGs go down, we can be okay. All right. We're going to do Queen's Call now. Get Nita ran out. However, I'm going to be a little tricky here. I'm going to use Meganium to get this one up. There we go, Nita Queen. Let's put this down, and we are not going to do Zebstrika's effect until I do, you know, evolve this, because I cannot get that back as easy. So, now we're going to do a Power Lariat. I mean, this is going to be 400 damage, I think. Oh, 420 damage. 400 damage, I think. No, that's a lot more than 400, man. All right, so, luckily for my opponent, he only got one of these down. You got to stack your deck with a lot of nest balls and net balls, or it's just RNG. It's, maybe that's part of the deal there. All right, so is, does he have enough to kill me yet? Not yet. He needs to discard a little bit more. So hopefully our Nido Queen survives. If not, well, Zepstrika with this is... Zepstrika's going pretty hot, actually. I got... You're, you're hot. You know I am, man. It's not a, no game moments in your video game. Okay. Is that what this is? Like, like, you know, it could be a female Zepstrika. Let's just move on from that, man. Let's just move on from this. Okay, so... Oh, there we go. There's that early Professor's Elm that you need. Alright, so, uh, he does do weakness damage against me. And I do weak- <laughs> It's gonna be one shot, so basically, that other deck over there is much more efficient than mine. I've gotta say that. Yeah, uh, yeah, with- Oh, man. Well, that's a kill. Wait a minute, that's not a kill. It mu it's almost a kill. That's a kill, that's a kill, that's eight. That's eight, you got eight, so you're gonna kill me in one shot. I was like, okay, bam, but I can use a counter gain next. So Zebs, you're gonna go out. All right, well, if he holds on, like I'm not, I'm expected to lose here, unless he bricks somehow. All right, let's do this here. Let's see what options we have, because we don't know... Uh, I can thin still. I can feel still thin. I need to... I can... I might be able to get another Night of Queen back soon. But with a rescue stretcher here. Yeah, so let's go ahead and toss her down. We don't know what options we have to attack. Are we getting a DCE in our hand? Are we getting a super boost? We got a super boost, so we're attacking with a super boost here. So that's what's gonna happen. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and psychic recharge. Uh, Nido Queen. That's a lot of nest balls. Now we're we gonna sprint this hand. No, I got a rescue stretcher in this hand. And I might pull the full version of the rescue stretcher. That's gonna give me better value, although that's okay. I might just do that now. Then sprint this hand. All right, there's that. And you know what? Because this hand's mostly dead in the first place, I'm gonna sprint the hand. Bye bye, all those death balls. I can't use you. Use what I can, but probably for the second doesn't matter. And there we go. Not only that, we got a fresh new Nidal Queen as well. So my damage with Nidal Queen is gonna be pretty good here. All right, so it's going smooth. You want to keep on thinning, Donald? You want to keep on thinning? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's. I hope I have another rescue stretcher. You definitely need another one. Now, if I got, uh, I think I have a price of Nido Queen. Yeah, so that's okay. Go ahead and thin that. Here we go. Drag off. You could. Why would I drag off? It lowers the damage, but his damage is too insane, so I don't care anymore. King's Trump, go! First time to see a Nido King go. All right, so, you know, it's long. There's another Nido Queen. I was about to say, we are keeping up. Now we're turned behind, so we just need him to mess up a turn, and we're okay. We need him to mess up a turn. We got how many attackers left? We need four more prize cards. We only have... We have three attackers left, so I, this time I don't have Banana Master. It might be you have to come out to kill something, uh, not to. That might be what just has to happen if I want to uh, win this game, or want a chance to win this game. So, one is you brick up. Two is I need at least one more. You ha he has to brick up. Because he got the first attack. 
he has to break up for me. He has to be, not be able to attack with all five of his attackers. But overall, this is like, oh my gosh, this is the first time it's been working this smoothly. Okay. But I am, I'm a kill behind. I'm the slower deck. I have to work much harder than he does to fight. So he has to break up somehow soon. And I may have a chance to keep up with him. But you know, this is Lost March. If I had the Lost March deck, I would definitely be favored here. Goes out, and this Night of King is gonna explode. It's gonna explode into lots of pretty colors. Okay, well, I don't know about that, man. We got Forte cards, definitely still safe to play Erica's Hospitality and Instant Night of Queen Evolution, too. Alright, so just brick for a turn. Just brick for a turn, that's what I'm asking for. Here we go, let's throw this down. Let's go ahead and use this, get another fresh Night of Queen down. So I've got. Actually, I got, enough, I got enough attackers for the remaining game. Not really. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and do Psychic Recharge. Make sure she's up. And I'm not going to... You know, I'm getting low now. Counter gain's nice. I mean, this is a nice look at your deck. Like, what other options do you have? You want to keep on thinning? It's not a bad idea. I mean, there's... I mean, I got pulling energies. I'm going to need those. There's no more double colors energies. There's no more double colors energies, but I definitely can counter gain the next one of the few uh, next attacks. So we are. I think that's it. I don't need to do anything else unless you want to thin the Jirachis. Well, why would, why would you want to top deck a Jirachi? You wouldn't want to top deck a Jirachi. You also have Cynthia here. I think that's it. I think that's it. Queen's Call. No nope. power. Lariat is not to will explode. 520 damage. Dang. Well, we have weakness, but that's still nice seeing things go up in big, big, giant colors here. No, no! What's the most wanted card right now? Tapu Lele? I think Jirachi is now. Lele's been going down. Jirachi is like the new one most wanted. But uh, Lele's still valuable. It's hard to say. How'd you start your collection, Donald? I don't know. Four years ago. I think I was buying codes. Yeah, so. He needs to miss a beat. He got the first kill. I'm keeping up, but. Being the slower poke, being the slower, yeah, he just got the first attack. But this is good. I mean, sometimes that's just how Lost Watch works. You just gotta have the first attack to win this. And that's absolutely okay. This is still a great match to show off. And you hear me? This is a great match. Now that he's ahead, I can set out this Night of Queen to go. And I believe there is another Malamar in the this somewhere. I mean, it's in the prize card. So this is why it's still okay to pull this card here. And Jirachi should have came out front, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident at this point. So we're going to put a counter gain right here. And I'm going to do, I think I have another counter gain too. So I need to find that soon. So we're going to use you to attack with counter gain here. And uh, we're going to get this up soon. But I think that's that. We're, you know what's left? There is a counter gain in the deck. There is a counter gain in the deck. And a rescue stretcher. You know what? Let's try to look for that counter gain now. If I Cynthia, I do have a chance to pull that counter gain. Because the counter gain on here would be very good. Nope! That's how it works. Sometimes. Power Lariat! Go! Take it out! Get that Malamar up so I get bonus energy. Malamar, come out! I mean, I don't need it yet. Malamar! Bingo! Two energies! So basically, Malamar's gonna have to come out in one. I mean, you better. He's only got 60. He's gonna have to be hitting us. It's not two at this point. Alright, so. Let's hope you don't evolve, because it's gonna be very hard to kill you. Let's fail, 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 fail. No, it did not fail. Well, one prize to one prize. I think I, that's still good. It, it all comes down to the first attack, and given my tech, I'm gonna give myself, like, I, I succeeded. I'm gonna lose because I got. I didn't get the first attack. It's about who goes attacks first. It's about what's so good about Jirachi? It's like the Lele, kind of. If you get any trainer card here, yeah. So he's like, if he has any any energy in his hand, he's gonna win. That is how it goes, bros. So if we are as lucky somehow, well, there's something securing an energy here. Do we have another? Nope, we don't have any shrine. If he's got another energy somewhere, we're gonna lose, but that's, you know, kind of expected. He got the first attack. He got the first attack. 
for that, it's still pretty good. Didn't pull, uh, now that we have Malamar, we don't need the other card there. We could just do this. And, you know, if we would have to hunt for the, you know, use this to attack, because I have no more attackers. And why can't you activate that again? I'll make sure you activate that again. There we go. Wait, there we go. I can act now I can activate it again. Alright. He's probably like, I don't care, man. You're gonna lose no matter what. That's fine. Let's end it, man. Let's end it. One prize to one good game. That was still a good game. One prize to one. Whoever wins the first attack generally with a lost march deck wins. And that's just a coin flip. You can't do any better, man. You just can't do any better. This was the best. One to one. I... Good game. This is a GG here. Maybe he whips an energy? No. But for for this deck to keep up with Lost March, that's a win. This is my first game that I was able to play all the way through in this manner. I'm happy with this. I am happy with this. It was just truly RNG. Who gets the first attack? I kept up with him the entire match. The entire match. So, that's good. Alright, GG! You made it to the end. So, it's time we rate this deck. How good is Nidal Queen? All right, she is slow. Setting her up was really, really hard during the matches. You can see there are counter gains here because very expectedly, you're gonna be behind. Yeah, but the payoff, the damage is pretty good. The damage is really, really good. It will scare every GX deck out there. And so here we go, damage. I'm gonna give you 4.5. There's this condition, which is all right to me, because they are knocking you out almost every turn. So, but you can't even take down Tag Team's GX in one hit, especially with that stadium there. I'll give the 4.5 because it's just not secure. The setup, the payoff, at least getting to that stage is tough. Defense, you're one prize, you're pretty tough. They can't use cheap attacks, she's through that. No, they gotta use a very powerful attack to get through. So, 4.5 on defense, one prize, and you can't skip out on damage. Reliability, I'm gonna give you a three. Cause this deck list, oh yeah. I mean, it works enough, but it's slow. It is slow, slow, slow. I'll give you a three. If you take Nidal King out, let's say it could get a little better. But for now, it is a three. Take Nidal King out. Final rating. This deck list, I mean, it's tied to reliability, right? If it's not reliable, everything goes out the window. This is a three. Everybody else is just faster. Now, what you can do is, you know, just take this one Nido King out. I had to do it because, I mean, if I don't use Nido King this video, it's, I mean, I don't get a chance to use him. So I had to try him out. So just take the Nido King out, put in all Nido Queens. And I think it might be a little bit faster then. Okay, so. That is it for now. What is up for next time? I think I'm gonna be Aerodactyl. Oh yeah, this is the opposite of this deck. Reliable deck? Oh yeah. This is by far the most reliable deck in standard right now. If you told me I had to go to a tournament and I needed to win, I'd take Aerodactyl with me. Okay, so that is that for now. Please, uh, like, subscribe. Or like if you actually like the video. Subscribe if just subscribe anyways. No reason about that. The bell is for you really need to see every video that comes out. Twitch streams, they're on uh, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Right now, they seem to be happening at night. Discord, like, right in this... Actually, right down there. Covers iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music. So, that is it for now. Thank you. Integrals and the Frenchies. Please stay safe. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.